the OCB Midwest States is uh, the biggest uh, OCB show in the Midwest. It'll be a pro qualifier, and Tommy will be in the, the heavyweight division. And I, I think, you know, looking at the past year's winners, I think he has a really good shot. He's already won the Indiana show for the OCBs, Mr. Natural Indiana. He kind of has the same attitude as me in that, you know, if you're going to beat me, it's not going to be because you outworked me. You know, I'm really excited to see how well he can do because I think he can take this as far as he wants to go. I mean, he's got great symmetry, great size, and he's huge for a natural guy. My name is Tommy Jeffers, 27 years old. I'm currently training for the 2007 OCB Midwest States. I am going to be the next professional natural bodybuilder. November 17th. Pro card, come on. I've been training with Lane now since about April, so it's been about six, six and a half months or so was when I decided to get serious about this sport. And I've been following him since about 2002 online. And I'd seen like some of the progress that he had made, like, and he was really into natural bodybuilding and he started from a very a small body type like I did. And so I kind of latched onto that and followed him. And when he got his pro card, he had uh, posted some pictures up at the online training for, you know, the online journals and I was so moved by how lean he got as a natural that when I decided to get serious, it's like, he, he's got it. He knows how to nail it, he knows how to dial it in. And, and uh, it, it took me until this year when I really decided to get serious about this, where I was like, you know what? I'm, just, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna ask him for help. I'm gonna get him involved and just do this to the best of my ability. And uh, being able to work with him has just taken my physique to a whole new level. November 17th. Pro card, come on. Uh, I, I started working with Tommy when he was uh, 20 weeks out. He did the um, OCB Indiana show and then he did the Ohio show and we were going to be done after that but he decided he really wanted to get his natural pro card and that was his, his goal and his focus and so now he's going to do the Midwest States on November 17th and um, I mean he's just an incredibly hard worker, does everything I ask of him and more and uh, he makes my job incredibly easy. We outwork him each rep. We outwork him each rep. I made the decision just this last year to, to really take it serious. So I was like, you know, let's just do it. I, I hired Lane and by far gave myself plenty enough time for him to you know, monitor everything that I was doing, to give myself plenty of time to diet. And my physique has reached uncharted territory. You know, the past approaches that I had used I tried everything. I tried low carb, I tried cyclical, I tried cycling carbs, I tried everything and none of those vehicles matched my body. Um, I, because I'm a very hard worker, I'm very disciplined. I just had to have the right vehicle. I, I put in the work, I'm very detailed with everything that I do. It just wasn't the right vehicle and uh, when I got a hold of Lane and finally started working with him, that was really the key. He matched the right vehicle for my body type, and I haven't looked back since, and, and now I'm in the absolute best shape I've ever been in. After the OCB Indiana show, we, he decided, you know, he definitely wants to do the Midwest States, the, the Calb show, and um, so after that we decided, okay, you know, the physique you have now is good enough to win this kind of regional level show, but to win this, you know, pro qualifier, we have to take it to the next level. And the next level is, you know, we're going to require split hamstrings and striated glutes and, and the whole deal. And in the past, you know, we, we like I said, in the past three weeks, we've really upped his cardio. Um, and he, his, his, his hamstrings and glutes have really come in a lot better. And uh, so I think he's going to be tough for anybody to beat just because he has that kind of entire package. His, really, his only weak point he has, and it's not even, most people wouldn't even look at it and say that's a weak point, but me being picky, I would say a weak point of his is his back. It needs to be a little bit wider, needs to have a little more density to it, but that's just a weak point compared to the rest of his physique. His physique is so well developed 
that his back on other people would be a strong point. But on him, it's a weak point because the rest of his body is so well developed. So we're going to try and bring that in line as well. And so that's why you see us doing a lot of things for to widen his back, like rack chins. You see us, you know, doing the heavy rowing movements and things like that. And so we really, when it's his back day, that's when we have to take him to task. You know, that that's that's the day that he has to bring it all in the gym. His legs, he's fine. His legs are enormous. His chest is really good. His shoulders are very good. But if we can get that back to come in and have his hamstrings and glutes lean enough, I, I just, I don't see many people beating him. You create this like momentum that just drives you further. Yeah. And that's really one thing that I've noticed is like, my intensity and my focus has never been stronger. Even before the first show or two, they fueled the next show and then to the next show. And really the small adjustments that I've made from show to show is paying attention to my body, um, work, you know, working with Lane and having him be, you know, with the fact that he's been able to work with me for several months, he's very in tune to what, how my body's reacting to certain things. And so it's, it's great to be able to have somebody like that on retainer, so to speak, and, uh, and monitor those slight adjustments, you know, whether it's adding cardio here or whether it's lowering carbohydrates a little bit there, you know, and not too much, nothing drastic. And it's just those continual small changes, really, that's made a huge difference. Tommy's a perfect example of why I say there's no one diet for everybody. You know, you see a lot of these guys that prep people and they kind of have all their guys on the same type of diet. I don't believe in that because some people, you don't have to take their calories low at all and they can drop all the body fat they need to. And some guys, for example, Tommy, we never had to take his carbs real low. He is really, he's very shredded, very lean right now. Now I've never dropped his carbs below 200 grams today. Um, and on his refeed days, he gets over 300 grams of carbs. Whereas some of my, some of the people I work with, if they just, you know, they have that more endomorphic metabolism, they don't um, dispose of carbohydrates as well. Uh, I, I have one guy who I have to, I have him down at, you know, under 90 every day, and he's doing, you know, five days of high intensity cardio a week with, you know, more low intensity cardio. He just doesn't have the type of metabolism he has to have. He has to go lower calorie. He has to do more cardio, and that's kind of an unfortunate thing. So. By him being able to stay higher carbs, he's going to be able to handle a bigger carb load. His body's going to be able to dispose of that. And so that's advantageous for us so we can fill him out better. So I think he's in a very good spot right now. I mean, he's, I, I really couldn't be happier with his progress and how he's doing. when I finally got to that peak week and saw the approach that I was going to do there, through all the brainwashing for the previous years, I was, I was rather nervous. He needs a little more width, but he also, his back is a little bit flat. I'm not gonna outwork you. I can't do it. I really wanna win. I don't wanna get beaten. I don't want my team to get beaten with my name on it. I was rather nervous and, and just had to put faith that like, you know, I've come this far. Let's just, let's just trust in what we've got going. Compared to his legs, compared to his chest, compared to his arms, it needs more, it needs more development. So you always gotta be thinking, okay, what can I do to make myself better? 